So hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is Tan here with you. Well, in today's vlog, I'm going to paint my Mazda 323. So we have some rust spots here. So we need to clear up this uh, rust spot before repainting it. Then you also need to scrape out all the flaking paints. So we need to paint all this, paint this, remove this rust and paint it. We need to paint the boot, this door. And there are some scratches here as well. So we need to paint this. There is some dent here, I'm not sure if you can see it on cap. I'll be fixing that dent and repainting the whole boot. I removed the lights from the rear. There's some rust over here and that's the reason why I removed the lights. And uh, this side's fairly okay, it's not that bad. I also need to remove the mud guard and um, I'll show you how to remove that. So once I remove the mud guard, there's a lot of uh, dirt inside here and that will cause rust in future so i need to clear off that uh, dirt so first we need to remove this mud flap so there are four screws one two three and a fourth one is behind here so once you remove that the first mud flap comes out then you have to remove these screws i think you can remove just two or three screws from the inner mud flap and once you release this you can get behind here and clear off that dirt So I have a metal spreader and the next step is to use this metal spreader to scrape off all the peeling paint from the corners, should completely peel it off. Can you guys see it? It's peeling off. So I finished scraping off the paint and as you can see I scraped out a lot of paint from the top almost 3 fourths of the roof needs to be painted and then I got some spots here then I need to paint half of this door maybe this entire half will be painted I need to repaint this portion I'll be painting the entire boot this side is fairly okay, it's not that bad. I just need to paint this portion and along the weather strip area as well. So now the next step is to wash the car completely, make it super clean. Then we'll start to sand down all the affected area. So the next step is to sand the body with the 80 grit sandpaper. This is the 80 grit sandpaper followed by the 400 grit sandpaper. So we'll be sanding down the rust spots. I also have the sanding block. I have two types of sanding blocks. I have one flexi sand block and I have this medium hand sanding block. So this flexi one will be used on these edges where I can't reach. Got the 80 grit sandpaper on the sanding block and we're going to start sanding. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die.
living a life Nothing in sight, forever in flight Follow those lines, we'll make it this time Blurry street lights, work as a guide To memories that we're making tonight Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight Yeah So I finished sanding everything with 80 grit sandpaper. There were few dents in this area. So I sanded it down with 80 grit sandpaper to the bare metal. Exactly where the dents are. There's one, two, three, four. Around four to five dents here. You can actually feel it. You can't see it, but you can actually feel it. I sanded down this area where there's a lot of rust. And I applied some rust remover here. Likewise here as well. I couldn't get to that corner so I couldn't remove the rust there. But I removed the rust here. Now as you can see I sanded it down to bare metal. This is exactly where the rust was. And there is no rust inside here. I removed all the rust. I removed the rust that is on the door here. I removed some rust from this portion as well. In the front bonnet there was some rust here. So I removed those rusts. Now the next step is to sand the entire area with 400 grit sandpaper. So this was the work area which I sanded with 80 grit. So the same area I will be sanding it with 400 grit sandpaper. So I covered up the whole car with some paper and some plastic cover. Covered up all the glass areas with paper. We'll be painting this section, this section. We'll be painting the entire roof and the entire boot. And this side just needs some slight touch up. So. I didn't, I just covered the whole thing, I covered the tires. So I've actually finished sanding it with the 80 grit sandpaper and the thing you have to be careful about here is once you sand it with the 80 grit sandpaper and you run your fingers along, it should be smooth between the metal primer and the base paint. You shouldn't feel any ridge or anything. So that's how much you should sand it down to. In this car in certain areas, I can actually feel the edges a bit slightly but since it's a very old car, I don't want to spend most of my time on this. So I just got it to as smooth as possible. So it's actually pretty smooth here. Now the next step is to sand the entire work area with a 400 grit sandpaper. I won't be touching the old paint which is prop which has no defects. Just this work area. So I finished sanding the work area with the 400 grit sandpaper. Now the next step is to wipe clean all this dust off. If you have an air blower, better to blow the dust off. Now since I don't have an air blower, I'm going to spray it with some isopropyl alcohol and then wipe it clean again so that we get rid of all wax, grease and dirt. So that would be my next step. So once that is done, uh, we'll be spraying all the uh, metal exposed area with the edge primer. Then we'll be filling it with the body filler. Trust me, being free ain't spotlights. No, it's long nights and it's long fights with yourself all the time to get your mind right. But if you put in the work, you can find the light. All right. I'll do anything that I so this is the edge primer which will go onto the exposed metal bits. So you need to shake the can for around four to five minutes. Shake it vigorously, and then we'll uh, spray it on all the metal surfaces which are clean with the isopropyl alcohol
So yeah guys, I applied one coat of edge primer on all the exposed metal surfaces as you can see here. So this should dry in around 4 to 5 minutes. Now once the edge primer is dry, now gently sand it down with the 400 grit sandpaper and then we'll apply the body filler. So we finished uh, sanding it down with the 400 grit sandpaper. Next we'll just wipe it clean again with a piece of cloth and then we're going to mix the body filler with the hardener. And then we're going to apply the body filler on exactly all the places where the metal portion was exposed. So the body filler we got is Spralac Ultra Light Body Filler. Oh, looks yummy. So we'll be mixing up the body filler. We don't really need much of body filler because I'm just going to apply it on places where there are dents. That's it. Now we just need to apply a little bit of hardener. Yeah, this much hardener should be enough. You need to apply it within 5 minutes once you mix it. Ok so let's go apply it now. So I finished applying the body filler. It's quite messy but I think it will do the job. I had some dents here and that's why I put the body filler on this area. I need to wait for it to dry maybe for around 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll just uh, sand it down with again 80 grit sandpaper. So I used body filler here and I used some body filler here. I also have some body filler used up here. So we need to sand it down with 80 grit sandpaper once it dries. So the body fill is dried right now. And now the next step what we have to do is we'll have to sand it down with the 80 grit sandpaper. Then the 180 grit sandpaper and finally the 400 grit sandpaper. Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight, yeah. I'll do anything that I feel like I wanna do. I'm living life like I got nothing left to prove. No end in sight, just always staying on the move. I'll go all night if that's just what I got in time. Life's too short to care about what you can't afford. Memories are real. So after sanding it with the 80 grit sandpaper, now we are sanding it with the 180 grit sandpaper. Like 
So after sanding it down with the 180 grit sandpaper, can you see there are some like fine pinholes? We need to fill them up with this fine filler putty. So that's the next step. Now we'll just let it dry for 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll sand it down with the 400 grit sandpaper. After you apply the a uh, thin filler you need to sand it down with the 180 grit sandpaper followed by the 400 grit sandpaper so now we'll be spray painting the work area with the 2k primer my friend martin has come along to help me with the spray paint project we'll be applying two to three coats of the white 2k primer and we'll be quickening the process with the help of the heat gun. Now next is the painting stage. I got my friend's compressor. So this is how the car looks like after painting three coats of the base paint. I let the paint cure overnight and this is how the car looks like. The results are pretty impressive but it looks a bit dry and wet in some spots. Uh, we'll be wet sanding it and then polishing it so that will fix this issue. Otherwise the painting has come great. So I'll just use a tack cloth, wipe it down then wet sand it with 2000 grit sandpaper and then apply some polish and the job's done So I finished sanding it with the 2000 grit sandpaper and the next and final step is to apply the polishing compound. Uh, I have the turtle wax light duty polishing compound. So I'll be using this to polish. So finally you need to wipe out the polish after it dries. Are you this is how the car looks now. I finished uh, completely repainting the car. Both front, top, sides and back. The car looks really good uh, compared to when it was before. I'll show you also a before and after video shortly. Also mechanically the car is perfect right now. There's no other issue with this car. Obviously I did spend a lot of money and by the way it's actually 8-10 pm right now and you can still see the sun. Well it definitely is not uh, pro level paint quality. I just did it in my garage over there so obviously there are imperfections between the old and the new paint. Also on the new paint there are some rough spots which I need to buff out. I didn't get time to do that so I need to get a buffing machine for that so I'll do that later. But overall I think the car looks fantastic right now. I just need to get another wheel cover as well. The car's really good looking right now. Kudos to myself. My friend Martin also helped me paint this car. So thank you, Martin. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please do hit the like button. Do consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, this is Tan signing out. Bye bye.